Okay, so welcome back to the pool series. Uh, here we got this awesome non-ball event going on. Uh, no handicap. It's an open tournament at Smoke and Q here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're sponsored by Paul Harrison Custom Cues, Eros Productions Laser Engraving, and RJ Ward Crawl Professionals. And we're about to bring you a very awesome match here. Final four, the winner's side. Matchup between Justin Martin and Jesus Atencio. This is going to be a pretty solid match, I would imagine. It's uh, Like I said, Final Four, the winner's side. Both these guys have battled through this tournament so far. We started with 51 players. Um, we've seen uh, Jesus on the stream. Actually, we've seen both these guys on the stream so far. So we have seen both these guys. Um, it is a race to seven, alternating break, rack your own. Nine does not count on the break. You are allowed to push out after the break. You're allowed to jump, and you are allowed to three foul. So there is that. We got six players left, basically, in this tournament. These are two of the four left on the winner side. Looks like they're doing a little bit of practice in here, doing a little bit of warm-ups. Uh, both of these guys are, I mean, these are probably two of the top five guys in the state of North Carolina, and... Just in the country in general, these are probably two of the top players under the age of 30. We see Mike Davis walking up here. Uh, we just had him on the stream table last against Adam Penley. As he won, so Mike is still in. He's a solid player as well here in the state of North Carolina. Like I said, we had a very strong field today. 51 players. A lot of big names. You also had BJ Ussery in it. You also had Hunter White. Uh, Josh Newman. Just to name a few, and uh, it's getting down to uh, to the last little bit here, the exciting time. We did pay out the top 12 players, so these guys are uh, definitely in the cash. Looks like they're going to flip a coin to see who breaks first. Obviously, we don't really have any sound here on the front camera, so not exactly who called what, but it looks like Justin won the toss, so he'll break first. I guess technically the winner... Of the coin toss or the winner of the lag does have the choice to break first and you know they could pass it I suppose if they wanted but Justin's gonna break first is alternating break so Jesus will be breaking the next rack and it is a race to seven here on the winner side a race to five on the loser side so definitely both these guys are happy to still be on the winner side a little longer race I think Suits these guys a little better. Nobody really wants to play a race to five. Race to five is pretty tough, man. Especially alternating break. Really kind of label, levels the playing field a little bit. So here we go. Justin Martin with the uh, first break of this final four matchup. He's going to break from the right side. Let's see what kind of success he has. I do expect to see a few break and runs here in this match. Both these guys are very capable of breaking and running. That's definitely for sure. All right, so he does break. Uh, the one ball kind of rattled there in the side pocket, so I think he's going to come up empty. Uh, not really the best spread either. Hit him a little hard. They all kind of came back around to kind of just the center of the table there, kind of around the spot where you rack. Um, so overall, not really the best break to start with, but Jesus does not really – he's going to have some work to do if he wants to run out. Wouldn't surprise me if he just kind of plays safe right here. We'll see what he kind of does for a shot up of the match. No, he fired it in. I guess he liked the gap between the three and the six to play the two ball. We did see Jesus on the stream earlier with a great comeback against BJ Usri. See if he gets in the same predicament this time. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be down like that twice to two great superstars. The fact that he came back once, you know, he should be happy with. This time, let's see if he can kind of jump out to a little better start. He does make the two ball, comes over and knocks the five and the six kind of loose. Probably wanted to hit a little bit harder, though. Uh, leaves himself a tough shot on the three. Going to be jacked up over the six ball. This is kind of a tough shot here. I felt like maybe I was a little surprised he didn't hit that ball a little harder. Let's see what he can do here. We are playing on a nine-foot diamond. So here we go. Let's see what uh, let's see what he's got here. Yeah, he didn't quite make the three. 
Couldn't get safe out of it, though. Did have shape on the four ball if he did make the three. I don't think... Maybe he was playing safe there. I'm pretty sure that was a safety shot. Justin Martin even tapped on the table to say good shot, so... Definitely was a safety all the way. All right, so here we go. Justin Martin's going to have to pull out the uh, the jump cue here. He's going to wait for BJ to shoot on the table to the left over there. BJ battling through on the loser side bracket. All right, so here we go with a little jump shot here. Let's see, let's see how he does. Hit it pretty good. Hit it pretty solid. Not going to get safe out of it. Obviously didn't make it either. Not the result that he was wanting, but he hit it pretty solid. I mean, he made it, he made it look easy, that's for sure. I couldn't tell if he was really trying to make it or get safe. Left Jesus a little funny, though. Jesus is looking at it here. Kind of blocking our view of the table, so I can't really tell you what exactly he's looking at. It seems like he can just cut it in and the cue ball hit the five. He's definitely taking his time looking at this. I mean, at this point in the game, you definitely want to take your time with every shot. And of course, both these players know that. He does make the three over there. Did bump into the five. Very solid shot right there. Kind of has to reach a little bit, though, for the four. Possibly even jacked up a little bit over the six. Looks like he's going to grab, uh, grab his extension. Or grab a longer, grab a little longer extension there for the back of his cue. All right, let's see what he can do here. He still doesn't like it too much. I think he's looking to see where the cue ball is going to go, making sure he can get the cue ball around the table for the five. No point in really making a shot if you don't get a shot on the five. We are not playing all ball foul, though, so if he does move the six, that is okay. He does make the four. The six ball. No, he got there. Didn't look like he was there for a second, but he made it by, by a lot. Very solid shot there by Jesus. Now things are starting to look a little more clear for him here. Let's see how he tries to play the six ball here. Because um, you want the cue ball off the rail a little bit here after you make the five. I'm assuming play the six ball all the way up here to where we're at. That looks like exactly what he's going to do. Pretty solid shot. He definitely looks to be in... A little better rhythm than the last time we seen him. Of course, at the end of that match, he was playing really good. Solid shot. Just draw the cue ball back for the seven. Might have got a little more straight in there than he wanted. I think he wanted a little bit more of an angle. Now he's going to look here to see if the eight ball passes the nine. I believe it probably does. Definitely did not get as much of an angle as he wanted on that ball. Yeah, he's just going to kind of roll forward with it and play the eight in the side. Smart shot. We do expect these guys to make all the right decisions. Like I said, these are two of the better players here in the state and possibly two of the better players uh, in the country. So he likes to hit the eight ball kind of firm, draw the cue ball up off the rail, Get a little more straight in than the angle he would have had if he just did like a stop shot. Perfect shot on the non-ball. Looks like Jesus is going to strike first. Takes a 1-0 lead over Justin Martin. 
And it will be Jesus' break next. Alternating break, it's huge to steal a rack from your opponent when it's their break. Now we'll see what Jesus does on his first break attempt of this match. Like I said, we did see both players earlier. We saw Jesus beat BJ Ussery. We saw uh, Justin Martin beat Adam Penley last round, actually. That was final later of the winner's side. When you're top level like these guys, you get kind of used to playing here on the stream table. So they should both feel a little comfortable with this table. Jesus going to move his score on top there. That way everybody, you know, inside the building can kind of keep up with the score. Obviously, you guys at home are keeping up with the score with our scoreboard here on the top of the screen right next to the Smoke and Q logo and right next to our sponsor logos that are kind of kind of rotating in and out. I guess maybe Jesus had a problem with the, uh, with the rack there. We are playing two ball does not go in the back, so... I think that was what he had there. I think he had the two in the back. Had to move that, get that out of the way. Can't have the two ball in the back in this tournament. All right, so here we go. Jesus is going to break from the same side that Justin did. Justin had a draw break uh, and didn't really spread them all that well. Let's see if Jesus has a better, a better break. A lot more speed control there. One kind of rattles in the side, almost the same. Um, another draw break. Better spread this time, though. So Justin Martin here to the table, really for the first time. He did have a jump shot there that first rack, but he hit it. Just didn't really get rewarded for it. So this is his first attempt here to really make some balls. Maybe, maybe run them out. Maybe they're spread pretty good. Be able to play the one in the side here. Does play the one in the side. Hits it pretty firm. Bounce the cue ball up. Might have got a little bit of an angle here on the two ball. I think he was probably wanting maybe the opposite angle or maybe even being more straight in, but still should be okay to hold shape for the three. He comes and looks at the angle from the other side of the table. I like that. Looks like he does make it. Uh, I think maybe he was trying to come over to the other side of the three. Needed, got a little unfortunate roll there when it hit the three. Now probably going to play safe. Definitely kind of an unfortunate roll. I thought maybe he could hold shape for the three and stay on the left side, but I guess it was a little a little tougher than I than I thought it was. There we go. He kind of banks the three ball down a little bit, puts the cue ball behind the eight. Doesn't doesn't seem like he likes it. it seems a little upset. Maybe he's just upset because. He thought that could have been a run out. Definitely, Jesus is probably going to have to jump at this ball. And Jesus is a magnificent jumper, so if he does bust out the jump cue here, I would not be surprised if it goes in. I think he's mostly looking at shape on the four. That's how good of a jumper he is. He's looking to see... To see kind of how he can play shape on the four ball if he jumps in the three. Or let's see, he might just play this, might just play the three ball without jumping. Might be able to see it a little bit. Nah, he's going to pull out the jump cue, okay. I can't quite tell if he can see a little bit of it or not. Definitely can't make it though without jumping. Wow, he's chalking up, making sure it's all chalk. Definitely don't want to miss Q. Definitely don't want to miss Q on a jump attempt. All right, here we go. Let's see what he does. All 
Well, I guess he didn't like it. He got back, got back up a little bit there. Readjust a little bit. Still doesn't seem to like it. I mean, it's definitely a tight window down there past that non ball. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like the jump shot. I think it, it's a little harder than he first thought, I think. I think at first he thought it was kind of easy. That's why he was looking at position on the four. Now I think he realizes how tough this three ball is. I, mean, I guess you could probably say this is kind of a key shot here. I mean... It was Jesus's break, a chance to take a 2-0 lead, race to seven. Okay, he hit that ball perfect. Drew the cue ball back just like he was wanting. Looks like he got shape on the four ball. I mean, that's about as perfect of a jump shot as you can have. That's... Pretty spectacular right there. And if you're Justin, all you're doing is sitting over there thinking, well, I thought I played a pretty decent safe. Now let's see if Jesus can get down for shape on the five. I'm just going to check to see if the six ball goes past the eight. Draws the cue ball down a little bit for the five. Pretty solid shot. This would be a pretty pretty awesome out here based off that first shot. That jump shot, that's a definitely a pretty spectacular shot right there. So he does elect to hit the five ball kind of hard. Going to play the six in the side. See if he can get the perfect angle to get on the seven. I think he might have came a little too far. Might have to take a little bit of a cut on the 7 now. Yeah, going to take a little bit of a cut on the 7. Luckily, it's natural position for the 8, so it doesn't really have to do anything but just make the ball, which he does. And basically, from where he's at here, just kind of make the 8 ball, and non's close enough to a pocket where he's going to be able to make it from anywhere on the table. He draws it back to get straight in just to make it even more easier for him. Pretty solid draw shot right there. That was pretty good. And Jesus takes a 2-0 lead. It will be Justin Martin's break next. As we're going to go ahead and thank our sponsors here really quick. Paul Harrison Custom Cues, Eros Productions Laser Engraving, and RJ Ward Crawl Professionals here at Smoke and Q. This is the final four of the winner side. Let's kind of see what happens here. Justin had a draw break the first time, and they didn't really, they didn't really spread too well either. So I'm not sure. Uh, you know, if it was the rack or maybe how he hit them. Because a lot of it has to do with how you hit it. It's not always just about the rack. People like to blame the rack a lot. But, you know, sometimes it's sometimes it's also how you hit them. Sometimes you just don't hit them good enough. Or sometimes you hit them a little off center, not where you want to hit them. You know. Uh, the other uh, final four match is uh, Nico. Nico versus uh, Jeff Abernathy. Pretty solid matchup going on. I believe they're playing right now on a different table. All right, so Justin going to break from the same side as he did last time, which is the right side. All right, he does make a ball this time, makes the wing ball, also makes another ball. So he makes two balls. Very nice spread this time. And he does have a shot on the one ball. Maybe we see our first break and run here, as we have not yet have one here through two racks, which kind of surprises me a little bit, just for the simple fact that these two guys are great players. 
Uh, you kind of almost expect players of this caliber to break and run probably every other rack, I would say, at least. Especially rack your own like this. All right, so let's see here if Justin can get shape on this two ball. Probably got to draw the one. Draw it back a little bit off the one. Oh, he hits it hard. Ooh, going to scratch in the side. Okay, did not see that coming. I think he was wanting to come above that pocket a little bit down there. Hit the side of the rail where he was at. So now Jesus with ball in hand uh, with six balls on the table. Spread out pretty good. Almost like a little tiny drill here. You know, I feel like this is like uh, probably a layout that he's played before. So he's going to take the two in the side. Now this is almost almost similar to the uh, shot that Justin just had on the one ball. So let's see how Jesus plays it. Sorry about that. All right, pretty decent shot there by Jesus. I think he was probably wanting uh, the cue ball a little more down table here where we're at. Got a little sharper sharper cut than he was probably wanting. Still not a bad shot, though. Let's see how he plays this. See if he play, how hard he plays it. Yeah, he plays it hard enough to go two rails and back across. Almost practically straight in. I should just be able to do a stop shot here for the seven ball, I would imagine. No, he kind of rolls forward with it a little bit. I guess he had that kind of angle. Plus also get a little bit closer to the seven. Very solid shot right there. You can really learn something from watching players like Justin and Jesus. You can learn stuff that you never really think about doing yourself as Jesus does make the nine ball to go up three nothing. It will be his break next. Alternating break. Jesus jumping out to a 3-0 lead. Race to seven. Uh, man, you got to think if he can come up with like a break and run here or, you know, just kind of maybe, you know, win this rack pretty convincingly here, then all of a sudden you're talking about Justin's going to be in a deep, deep hole. Alternating break, race to seven. You don't really want to be down four nothing. So Justin's going to need, going to need something here. Going to need Jesus to draw a break or, you know, to scratch or some. Something to happen here to get Justin to the table to be able to run some balls. All right, so let's see if Jesus continues to break from the right side. All three racks so far have been from the right. Um, really, there have been decent breaks too, so we'll kind of see. Kind of see. Jesus did draw break his first rack though, and left Justin a pretty spread open table. He just kind of got a little out of line. Had to play safe on the three, and then Jesus made a great jump shot to win that rack. So Jesus is going to break from the right side once once more. It does make the one ball this time. The five ball rattled. It was almost going to go in. Uh, does make the one. Doesn't really have a shot on the two. Pretty good spread, though. Um, could have a shot on the two, maybe if he wants to, you know, feel aggressive here. But most likely, I would imagine that he plays safe. It's probably what I figure players of his caliber do in this situation. Wish I could tell myself to do it, but I get in a tendency to where I want to go for this ball. I would assume just kind of try to stop the cue ball where the two is and bank the two maybe down below the four and the nine. Two rails, maybe three rails down there. It's kind of the safety I'm seeing. Well, he plays it even better as he rolls the cue ball up onto the six. Left a little gap there. I think he was probably wanting it to be frozen, but still a very solid safety.
Justin's going to try to two rail kick this. I think he's going to try to come behind the two, maybe. Or maybe he was just looking to see where the two ball is going to bank if he hits it. Almost cut it in, actually. Hit it pretty hard, though. He was definitely confident he was going to hit it. So, can't really, you know, can't really hate him, hate on him there. Another unfortunate, though, that he did not get safe or make it. Pretty sure he left Jesus a shot here. Jesus is looking to see if he can get shape on the three. Balls are spread out pretty good. Yeah, I think if he makes this two and gets gets perfect on the three, then he's probably out once again. We'll kind of see what happens here. I think he is going to get perfect on the three ball. Well, maybe the cue ball, cue ball may be a little closer to the rail than he would have liked. But still should be able to just make this three ball in the side pocket there. Probably play it kind of hard maybe. Bring the cue ball back out to the center of the table. It's kind of what I'm figuring he's going to do. Just like that. Don't want to be jacked up over the seven though. Yeah, I think he's going to be a little jacked up over the seven ball now. I don't think he hit that as hard as he was wanting to. You can tell he almost let up on his shot a little bit, actually. Maybe he was wanting to hit it a little softer. Either way, now this has turned into a tough shot. Maybe an unforced error there. Let's see what happens here. No, he makes it. Is he going to come around for the five? He's going to come around for the five. Very solid shot right there. Might have a little weird angle on the five to get to the six. But all in all, I think from being jacked up over the seven ball, I think he has to be kind of happy with, kind of happy with what he got there. Might be able to just draw the five up past the eight and play the six in the pocket where he's standing at. Would be kind of what I'm seeing. Yeah, just like that. See if he plays the... See where he plays the 7. I would not be surprised if he plays the 7 in the same pocket. It's exactly what he's going to do. Very solid shot right there. Draws the cue ball down. Going to play the 8 in the side. I like that also. Looks like Jesus is in stroke in this match. Looks like he's coming out on fire, not really making any mistakes. He's locked in. He's going to make that nine ball right there to go up four to nothing on Justin Martin. It'll be Justin's break once again. Race to seven, alternating break. Here at Smoking Q, let's thank our sponsors once more. Paul Harrison Custom Cues. Eros Productions, Laser Engraving, and R.J. Ward Crawl Professionals. So Justin needs uh, needs something here. He had a great break last time with a shot on the one. Just happened to scratch as he was playing uh, shape on the two. Definitely needs a win here. Cannot go down five to nothing. Never want to be down that far to a great player such as Jesus Atencio. But if there's anybody that can come back from it, Justin Martin is one of the players that I would put my money on. So don't count him out yet. Don't say this match is over yet. I think we could still be in for a close finish. All right, let's see what Justin can do. He's going to break from the right side again. He's broke twice so far. Dry broke the first time. Second time, like I said, a very solid break. Just happened to scratch playing shape on the two. All right, let's see what he does here this time. All right, oh, well, the one rattled there on the side. The three also rattled in the corner. As he's not going to make anything. That's kind of just an unfortunate break there as two balls basically rattled in the pocket and spit back out. On the bright side, um, 
you know, it's not the best layout, and it's not really, you know, great from getting to the one to the two. So Jesus will have to do some work here. It's not like Justin left him out right there. How do you play shape on the two ball here? Do you kind of, I think he's going to load it up and draw it around, I feel like. Definitely wants to make sure he makes it. Because you want to play the two ball on the side, I do believe. No, maybe that's not what he's going to do. Maybe he could just slow roll this, maybe. Not sure he'll have a shot on the two, but he'd be able to play safe somehow. Or let's see if he loads up and tries to go around the table. Oh, no, he comes over and just basically just fires into the stack. Uh, I think he was trying to hit the <clears throat> four ball and hope to get shape on the two. Kind of knocked the eight ball right in the way. I do like that shot, though. He didn't really have anything to lose there. Not sure if the uh, two ball goes past the eight in the side, though. Uh, I guess it does, actually. Because he's looking at shape on the three. Yeah, solid shot right there. Maybe he did get a fortunate roll there. I wasn't sure if it would go or not. Didn't quite get the perfect angle on the three, though, to get on the four. Like I said, going to have his work cut out this rack. This will be a very impressive. This will be the most impressive out so far this match. Maybe looking at the 4-8 combo, maybe? That'd be pretty sick. Especially considering that's not even straight in. Maybe you just draw this ball back. Maybe you can go forward with it, maybe. He's going to look around the table a little bit, take his time. He's definitely in no rush, I'll tell you that. I feel like he's going to make it and try to hope that the cue ball plays off the seven and leaves him straight in for the four. That's what I'm thinking. No, he tries to just draw back and hit the four ball, I guess. Uh, kind of locked himself up, though. I think he was wanting to hit the seven ball is what I think he was trying to do. That would be a pretty tough jump shot that he's looking at there. Wouldn't surprise me if he decides to kick at this one instead. He is, like I said, one of the best jumpers possibly in the world, if not the best, honestly. But I think this is one that you have to try to kick at. I think this is one might be a little too tough to jump. No, he's going to elect to jump it. He's going to, you could see it might be a little awkward stance maybe. Cue ball is pretty close to the eight. If you do make it though, it's pretty much automatic shape on the five. Let's see what he can do here. He definitely makes sure that thing's chalked up, doesn't he? Doesn't quite make it. Well, probably would not have liked that shot on the five ball, though. Of course, probably would have liked it better than Justin shooting this four. Justin, this could be his first, maybe only his second real chance at the table this whole match. Does play the four. Going to get perfect shape on the five to get to the six. Kind of a perfect layout here for him to finally get to the table, get some confidence going, get on the scoreboard, which will help for sure. Drew the cue ball back a little bit, popped it off the rail, play the six and the seven in the same side, might even play that eight in the same side. Let's kind of see how he goes about it here. A 
there we go. Play that seven in the same side. I'm thinking he might not play the eight in that side. Yeah, he's going to play the eight all the way up and just maybe draw the cue ball back a tiny bit here for the nine. Wouldn't be surprised if it's just a stop shot here either. Nah, he drew the cue ball back. Going to be straight in on the nine, and I do believe Justin Martin's going to get on the board here. Going to make it four to one if he makes the nine. He does make it. He's on the board. It's four to one. It'll be Jesus's break. Maybe, uh, maybe we finally have ourselves a match here. Maybe, maybe this is going to turn the tide a little bit. We've seen some matches of runs here so far. We have, you know, we've seen some people win three or four games in a row, even with alternating break. Kind of been surprised at how some of these matches have gone today here on this stream table here at Smoke and Q. Jesus going to rack them up. Probably going to break from the right side again. Both players have elected to break from the right uh, this whole match so far. And really, they've turned out pretty well. All right, so, yep, Jesus is going to head over there to the right side of the table. Let's see what he, see what he gets here. Makes the three nine ball heads towards the pocket. Nine ball does not count on the break, though. Let's remember that. Uh, pretty solid break, except for the fact that the one and the six are locked up in the middle of the table. One's kind of on the rail. Uh, luckily, the nine ball stayed a little away from the pocket, so the two nines not dead. I know then he would have been a little more upset. Probably going to elect a push here. Interested to see what kind of push he does. As I've said, this is one of the things that separates, I think, the great players such as Justin and Jesus from the players such as that have the caliber such as me and some of the other players around the area is they know how to push. They push to their strengths. They push to where the other guy's not going to have a shot or run out. And, you know, there's a lot of strategy behind the push. A lot of people around my caliber of play, we just kind of push out you know, to make it a tough shot, don't really think about all the options. So he does he like to push. Um, Justin, it looks like Justin's going to take it. No. Justin's going to give it back. Justin did not like it. Jesus pushed there for a reason, though. So let's see, let's see what he does. He's going to call the non-ball. I do believe he's calling the non-ball. Is he kicking at this, or is he jumping at it? He's jumping at it. I figure that's what he would do. That's why I said you push to your strength. Ooh, did not get up over that seven ball. That's a very big surprise right there. I thought he would at least get over the seven ball. I was expecting him to make the one ball, honestly. Kind of a surprise there. He didn't really take his time, though. I think that's the first... I'm going to say that's an unforced error there. That's an unforced error there by Jesus. Kind of rushed it a little bit. Didn't really take his time. So Justin with ball in hand. First time he's had ball in hand this match. Plays the one. Not going to go for the two non-combo because the two does go past. He's going to go for the run out. Sometimes with that non-ball so close though, you know, he could have set up for like a carom or something. But he's going to elect to go for the run out. Solid shot right there. Got the cue ball off the rail for the four. Balls are spread very good right now. Should just be able to bring this ball, this cue ball up to the center of the table for the five. That's exactly what he does. Probably then going to play the six in the side. I mean, they're... 
perfectly laid out for here. Perfectly laid out for Justin to to get out and get a second game, and then it'll be his break, and all of a sudden things are getting close. All right, so he rolls forward with the five ball. Not sure he hit it quite as hard as he was liking. I think he probably wants it a little more straight in on the six, but at the end of the day, still should be fine right there. Let's see how he does play shape on the seven ball, though. Yeah, he just kind of did almost a stop shot, stunned it down a little bit. Wasn't sure if he'd have to go a little bit further down. Was a little more straight in than I thought. Now make the seven here, natural shape on the eight ball. Shouldn't have to do anything crazy with the cue ball here. Just natural two rail shape on the eight. And again, natural shape here for the nine. Just roll forward, bounce it up off the rail to the center of the table a little bit. I'm guessing Jesus must have conceded that ball. So that makes it 4-2. to two. Jesus with a two-game lead over Justin Martin. It will be Justin's break. Let's thank our sponsors once more. Uh, Paul Harrison Custom Cues, Eris Productions Laser Engraving, and RJ Ward Crawl Professionals. Uh, the Pool Series non-ball event here at Smoke and Q. The first event of the pool series. Thank you all for watching. So Justin coming up for another break here. Hasn't had too much success really on his breaks. If he gets one here though, if he can make this 4-3, now all of a sudden the pressure is back on Jesus. Jesus was just up four to nothing. Uh, hooked himself on a four, then you know, kind of an unforced error on a bad jump on the one ball. So let's see what Justin can do here. Once again, the wing ball does not quite go. And nothing's going to go, actually. Uh, no, he did make one. I'm so sorry. He did make one. Did make one. Did not make the one ball. Probably going to play safe here on the one ball. Let's see how exactly he is going to play safe. All right, so he likes to put the cue ball in the pocket, apparently. I cannot believe that cue ball kept rolling. Neither can he. I thought for sure that cue ball was going to stop. It was going to be a pretty solid safety if it did stop. But somehow it just kept rolling. These tables are a little fast. They got the predator cloth on them. But still, I don't think any of us expected that cue ball to roll that far. So Jesus now with ball in hand. Not the easiest of layouts here. Going to have to get pretty good shape on this two ball here. Not really too much room for error. He does hit it hard enough to get to the rail. Should be able to play the two and the three in the same corner, I believe. Right? Isn't that how you play this ball? Yeah, draw the cue ball around, two rails for the three in the same pocket, yes. Uh, maybe even play the four in the same pocket. If he can, I'm sure he can get there. Yeah, he draws back behind the five. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That pocket's working so well. Why don't you just play the five ball in that same pocket as well? Draw the cue ball back out to like the same spot as you're in now for the five. It's kind of like a one pocket drill here. It's exactly what it does. Of course, he hits it hard. Two rail shape on the five. I like that he does that. He plays a lot of balls that extra rail just to kind of let a stroke out, just to kind of keep a natural stroke, you know, don't don't let up, don't ease up. I do admire that about his game. 
Now just kind of stun the cue ball off the rail here for the seven. Just like that. That's going to be a pretty quick rack there. I mean, he kind of went about that pretty fast. I thought it was going to be a little bit of work, but he did not think it was going to be a little bit of work. He draws the cue ball around for the same pocket. Uh, that one surprised me a little bit, but maybe he just didn't feel like walking to the other side of the table. Did get straight in, though. So Jesus takes a 5-2 lead now. Will be his break. That draw break right there was very big. Now Justin's hoping that Jesus draw breaks this time. Oh no, he did not draw break. I'm so sorry. He did not draw break. Justin uh, sc scratch playing safe on the one. Which was very unexpected. I don't think any of us expected that. Definitely was an unforced error. Alright, let's see what Jesus can do. Obviously, I assume he's going to break from the right side again as they both have all seven racks so far. All right, let's see what Jesus is gonna do here. He is gonna break from the right side. See if he can make a ball or two. I don't know if he's going to make one there. It's kind of a weird... I don't know if he hit him weird or if he racked him weird, but they all kind of... I mean, they spread good, but they kind of reacted weird. I don't know. It was kind of strange. All right, so Justin uh, with the one ball almost hanging in the pocket here. Um, two ball can be a little weird. Maybe maybe try to play the two non-combo. The non kind of squirted over towards the pocket a little. He's definitely looking at it. I think being down 5-2, maybe you take a look at that 2 non-combo. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he decides to try it or not. Looks like he is not going to try it as he's going to play shape. To, did he get shape? Yeah, he got shape. So play the two ball. Um, man, he got a little closer, I think, to the to the six and the eighth, and he was than he was wanting. I think he was kind of wanting that cue ball down a little bit more. Kind of a little dangerous there. Should be able to draw this cue ball back, just like that. See, he decides to draw that cue ball out pretty far to get between the gap there between the five and the six and the eight. I like that. Shows a lot of confidence. Shows you knowing the table speed. Very solid shot. Does play the three. Has a pretty good shot on the four ball. I'd assume it was almost right where he was wanting. He is left handed so he does have to reach for this ball a little bit. Does make it though nice and smooth. I like the look of his game, man. He's got a good stance, good stroke, nice pace. Let's see how he plays shape on the two ball here. I mean, on the six ball. Does come up and down. You're going to play the six in the side. Pretty solid right there. I'd assume the 7 and the 9 will be going in the same corner. Of course, still got the 8 ball, but 8 ball is middle of the table. I see no problems here with these last 4 balls. Unless you get exactly straight in on the 7, which he did not. Still got a little bit of an angle. He's going to walk around for a second. Let Viondi take his shot on the table to the right. Well, he's looking at this. I guess maybe he doesn't like the angle that he got. He 
Yeah, I don't think he 100% likes this as he's once again going to let Viandi shoot on the table next to him. Justin doesn't 100% like the shot that he has here on the seven ball. Kind of surprising because the eight ball is eight ball is pretty center table here. I feel like he would like the seven just because he could play the eight ball in a couple of different pockets if need be. Obviously the side being option number one and probably option number two as well. He does get that cue ball around the nine. Makes the eight ball. Very solid shot there. Should be able to make this nine. Solid shot there by Justin Martin. Solid out. Makes it five to three. Jesus with the lead and here in this race to seven. Alternating break. Let's thank our sponsors once more. Paul Harrison Custom Cues, Eros Productions, Laser Engraving, and RJ Ward Crawl Professionals. So Justin's break here uh, will be Jesus' break next. So Justin really needs this game. Uh, don't want to be down 6-3, letting Jesus coming up with the break. Would be a little, you know, would be a lot better off if it's only 5-4 to four with Jesus' break coming up. Justin really hasn't broke him all that well here, though, in this match. Going to break from the right side again. Neither player has switched over to the left, so they both like this side, which it's gone pretty okay for them both. All right, is that going to be, that's going to be a draw break. He cannot quite get that one ball in the side or the wing ball to go in the corner. They both keep hitting almost the same exact spot every time. Jesus looks like he's almost straight in on the one ball. Pretty decent spread. Not looking good for Justin at this point. Does make the one. Draws the cue ball back for the two. Probably drew it further than he was wanting. I don't know if he was wanting that far. Let's see how he plays shape for the uh, for the three ball here. Looks like he's gonna try to draw it. He does draw it straight down between the seven or between the five and the nine. It's looking good here for him at this point. He was able to come around for the four ball. Play the five in the side next. Kind of just stun this ball off the rail. Make it a little easier, just like that. I mean, they're almost just tap, tap, tap from here for Jesus. Solid shot right there. Play the six in the corner. Draw the cue ball back. Play the seven in the other corner. Just like that. Now, probably just going to kind of draw the cue ball back again. Off the rail a little bit. Probably just below the side pocket for the eight in the corner that he's standing in. Just as I said. He kind of just bumps into the non-ball there instead of trying anything crazy. It appears that Justin decided to concede that one. 6-3 uh, lead Jesus now, and it'll be his break. So breaking for the win. See if he can do a little break and run action for the, for the win. Get to the hot seat match. 
We have not had a break and run yet this match. Surprisingly, very surprisingly, with two of the better players in the country going a whole match. Race to seven, rack your own without a break and run. That would just be crazy. It'd be like two of the best golfers in the world playing a whole round without any birdies. So let's see what Jesus can do. See if he switches up the break any at all. See if he decides to go to go to the other side or see if he sticks to the right side. He's definitely taking his time with this rack. Taking a little bit longer to rack him this time. Definitely wants to lay down a perfect break this time. Last time... Last time it didn't turn out so well for him, so let's see what he does here. All right, makes the wing ball, makes the non ball, which does not count. Gonna have to spot that up. Doesn't have a shot on the one ball, not really the best spread. Justin has a little bit of hope here. I assume a push is coming. I'm guessing he probably pushes to a jump shot, maybe? He did push. I can't tell. Might even be able just to make this ball. Or play safe. I don't see him giving this one back. He gave the, he gave the other one back. Which did end up working out in his favor, but I don't see him giving this one back. He's thinking about it, though. He's definitely taking his time. I mean, it's a tough shot. It's whether or not you're going to play safe, which I think you are going to play safe. It's just a matter of how. It's not the easiest shot, but... I don't see, is he going to give it back? He did decide to give it back. That surprises me a little bit. I guess he just doesn't like it at all. So let's see, Jesus had an idea, obviously. He wouldn't have pushed there if he didn't have an idea what he was going to do. Oh, well, he just banks it in. Fired it in, actually. Huh. I wonder why Justin didn't like that then. Very surprising. I thought a safety was coming. I mean, I thought the bank was a possibility, but I still thought a safety was coming. Kind of got a backwards angle on the two ball here to get on the four. Can maybe spin the cue ball around the table without bumping into anything? Needs to avoid the eight ball, as you saw. What do you do? You come up as close to this corner pocket as you can, I believe. No? Maybe he's going to go between the five and the six. Uh, well, he banks in the two ball as well. No, nah, he apologized. I think he was trying to cut that in. Or maybe he apologized for hitting the eight ball. Uh, either way, it works for him. He does get shape on the four. I don't think the five goes past the six. So probably play shape for the five in the side. Yeah, he's going to try to play safe. He's going to try to play shape for the five in the side. In the left side, though, apparently. Two rail shape. Three rail shape. Cue ball needs to stop. It stops almost perfect. Probably draws this ball back to the rail and back out to center table. I'm guessing play the seven in the side. Uh, 
Oh yeah, place two rail shape to get on the seven in the side. Okay. Had to reach for that ball a little bit though, so maybe that was just an easier way of doing it. Plays that position off the rail for the eight. I think he has perfect uh, angle to get on the nine, just like that. Pretty much going to be straight in for the nine ball in the corner. A little tiny angle. And Jesus with the win, 7-3 over Justin Martin. Jesus will move on to the hot seat match uh, to face either Nico or Jeff Abernathy. Uh, Justin Martin will now go to the loser side where he'll try to bounce back and try to get to the final four. Very solid matchup, guys. That was fun to watch here at the Pool Series at Smoke and Q. Uh, sponsored by Paul Harrison Custom Cues, Eros Productions Laser Engraving, and RJ Ward Crawl Professionals. We'll see you guys here again very soon.